Welcome to summertime. This is my birthday month. Give a thumbs up for that. Today, I'm going to show y'all how to look fly for the summertime. At least what I'm going to be doing because there are plenty of other great videos out there. Definitely check those out. But first off, definitely experiment with different cuts of clothing. This is a year round thing, mainly for your own personal style growth, but especially now with the warmer weather, we can't really rely on layering to let our fit stand out. So you wanna experiment with different cuts of clothing. I know we all get comfortable with our current fit of our clothes, but I like to think of it like my workouts. If I do the same workout indefinitely, I'm gonna get bored. So this is why I switch it up. I incorporate some boxing, maybe I'll switch to push pull legs or full body workouts. I'll try different exercises. This is how I make working out more enjoyable, just like you can make fashion more more enjoyable by trying on different cuts of clothing. Same thing. And that's kind of going to be the theme of this video. But the easiest way to start, if you love fitted clothes, why not try on an oversized or relaxed fitting piece? And vice versa. Try on different tops in general other than a normal t-shirt. Tanks definitely aren't for everyone's taste and not many people really incorporate it with their fits. So why not try it out? Button ups look great. It's a different silhouette than your standard tee and it gives off a different vibe. Same with pants. There are a ton of cuts, straight cuts, skinnies, flare pants, cropped pants, baggy pants that tapers towards the ankle, cargos, and their shorts as well. Because this looks different than this, and this also looks different than this. Still the same person, just different cuts of clothing on a body, and one isn't better than the other. We all have our own frame, and you can choose what to do with it. Definitely check out stores like Cos, Represent, even H&M, and of course Uniqlo. Y3 also has some really unique cuts as well, and same with all of clothing. Like, check this out, man. Definitely a far cry from what you normally see. Now, my favorite shirt of all time is the Uniqlo Oversized Airism t-shirts. 15 bucks, and this is what really got me to love oversized shirts, and I highly recommend it because it's affordable and they've got a ton of color options. Uniqlo also has some great fitted shirts, but I also like essentials, I like cuts clothing. Now, next up, I really think performance fabrics is a must for summer. See, your normal cotton tees, even if it's a short sleeve, you're gonna sweat your ass off in it. Your back will get sweaty and it's gross. Performance fabrics that have stretch and moisture wicking capabilities is awesome and makes dealing with summer less of a pain. Best place to start off is Uniqlo's Airism technology, like the shirt I mentioned earlier, 15 bucks. These shirts are perfect, they're oversized so it's more breathable, and the Airism technology is breathable, moisture wicking, and stays cool to the touch. And a lot of fitness apparel uses this technology but in their own ways. Like this Lululemon shirt right here, it has anti-abrasion fabric, is sweat wicking, stretchy, quick drying, and it actually has vents in the armpit area to help with ventilation. Plus it has anti-stink zinc to prevent odor. These ASRV shorts are treated with silver ions to prevent odor causing bacteria from growing and making you stink because your boy sweats a lot, all right? I'm from the desert where your sweat actually evaporates and cools you off. So me being in New York City where I have to walk everywhere and it gets to 90% humidity and your sweat doesn't evaporate, I'm not used to that, so that is why I sweat a lot. And that's why I love performance fabrics. So if it's fitness apparel, use it in everyday outfits to give it a more athleisure vibe which you can get creative with or if you're not about that then you can just roll with Uniqlo's Airism shirts it's basically like your normal tees just a little bit more breathable All right, next up, make sure you incorporate colors to your fits. Fall and winter, okay, it's acceptable not to wear colors. Trees are dead, it's gloomy all the time, I get that. But summer, it's colorful, beautiful, and alive. So no more sad boy wardrobes, all right? So here's what I recommend starting off. Olive is a color anybody can pull off. Now, olive is a more muted color, but hey, you're incorporating green to your fits, good job. And then you can move on to headwear. Try on different colored hats other than black. You can start off cheap and try a color you never think you could pull off. That way it'll force you to try and come up with a cool outfit. And this includes colorful sneakers as well. That's why I picked up this Hydro Blue Carhartt hat and I came up with a pretty nice vibrant fit. Probably my most colorful fit I've ever pulled off because I was forced to embrace that color. But if you're not about that, I get it. So here's an outfit that will never fail. Pick up any colored shirts. I have every color of the Uniqlo Airism shirt, so let's just use that as an example. Any colored shirt, black pants, could be shorts, up to you, and white sneakers. I'm telling you, man, it's always going to work no matter what color you wear. Then after you get used to wearing more colored tops, I would recommend learning more about color blocking. I do have a video about that on my channel. It is a little bit outdated. Definitely needs an update, but definitely check it out. Next thing you can do is to shop local. You 
You guys have heard me say this countless of times. It's definitely a more year-round advice, but let me just show you something I picked up recently. I was walking around Washington Square Park with my girl, and we saw this small little pop-up. And turns out, they were selling these Stop Asian Hate shirts. It's a message I stand behind, and my purchase would actually go support the local Chinatown. These shirts were unique, had a message I stood behind, and went to support my people. And you could do the same as well. You got a favorite coffee shop? Why not support that coffee shop by getting some of their clothes? This is from Little Bear Coffee in Albuquerque, New Mexico, my hometown my favorite coffee joint there. So not only will this represent your area and culture, it's gonna support your local community and you can get some unique pieces that most people can't get unless they go visit that city or shop. And you can support me by clicking that link in the description and signing up for Skillshare, the sponsor of today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions of curious and creative individuals come together to learn something new, anything they want. You can learn business, finance, entrepreneurship, how to build a clothing brand, graphic design and photography. All of these skills can help you advance your career or just make life a little bit more exciting. But if none of that interests you, I just highly recommend signing up so you can watch my favorite YouTuber, Marquez Brownlee. He just came out with a class on YouTube success, the behind the scenes of his YouTube channel, the scripting process, filming, production, and all that. It's very interesting. I can watch any of his videos and it's actually helped me with my behind the scenes stuff. So if you've been thinking about becoming a YouTuber or you just like Marquez, definitely click that link in the description because right now Skillshare is actually running a pretty nice discount. The first 1,000 of y'all that click that link will get 30% off an annual premium membership so you can get your creative juices flowing. Even if you've already had a free trial of Skillshare, you can still take advantage of this offer to get a full year of unlimited learning and creative exploration. I've learned a lot on Skillshare, no joke. This class by Emily Henderson on interior design got my place from this to looking nice and snazzy because everything is laid out in one spot. Most of the classes are less than an hour and that sounds good to me. So click that link in the description, sign up for Skillshare premium membership. An annual membership costs less than $10 a month. It really helps me out. I appreciate you guys and thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now, next thing you can do, of course, is to utilize accessories. Like I said, we can't rely on layering anymore, so these are the items that will come in with the assist. Just think of summer like a salad. Like, how much can you really make a salad better than a more complex dish like wonton noodle soup? A dish that has a nice, tasty broth, some wonton, some egg noodles, some cha siu, veggies. Mm, it's never gonna compare. Just like summer fits compared to more winter layered fits, drastic difference. But you can still make a salad taste good. There's different dressings, different toppings like croutons, eggs, pickled veggies, cherry tomatoes, and endless options all coming in to assist that boring lettuce. These toppings are your accessories. So let's start off with jewelry. Shades and glasses are always a staple for me and watches aren't for everyone contrary to popular belief. You don't need a watch. Although I have been growing to like it, it's still not really my thing, but you do you if you like it. So as an alternative, if you don't like a watch, you can try on a metal cuff. I have this rose gold one that I got from Daniel Wellington that I wear in every outfit. Not really a great brand, but I like this cuff. As an alternative, you can check out this one from Amazon. It's cheap, made of stainless steel so your hand won't turn green and it's pretty solid. And you guys know I love rings and necklaces. Just take a browse around through the internet and don't be afraid to mix different colored metals. Because what I love so much about accessories is this is the perfect time to embrace your culture. Every culture has their own unique accessories and if it's your culture, it most certainly will fit in with your style because that is who you are. Like for me with Jade, I love incorporating Jade with my fits. It's a pop of color, it represents my culture, it's good luck and my mama gave me these. And make sure you have an assortment of headwear. I wear beanies in the summer, it may not be for you, but I do it, just depends on the weather. And I also have a lot of caps. These ones are from Amazon, they were like $10. I have a few from Carhartt. This one is from Ame Leon Dor, which is quite pricey, but I love all the little details and the color. It's like your standard cap, just elevated a little bit, because it's the little details that make a huge difference. And I'll also be rocking a lot of bags this year, from tote bags, sling bags, and messenger bags. I just think bags are the perfect way to top off a simple outfit. Plus, it's going to keep your goods safe and you can go shopping with it. I also recently picked up this Y3 bandana with adjustable draw cords as a nice touch to the fits. And moving right along, don't forget patterns or different materials because these are what bring depth to your outfit. Think of this like a camera body, my Sony camera, for example. Sure, there's a metal unibody, but if you look at it, there's texture to it and isn't perfectly smooth. The grip is textured, there's rib knobs and different buttons. These are basically your stripes, checkered pattern, or some random pattern on a summer shirt. You could even go for a pre-color blocked items like these shorts that I picked up recently. There's also corduroy, suede, linen, nylon, performance fabric that I talked about earlier. These all have a different look compared to your standard cotton and it's going to make your fit stand out a little bit more. And I'm also going to throw graphic tees in this category. They aren't a pattern but definitely need to be mentioned. 
go support your local businesses, or just lean into what you're interested in. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is more DIY and clothing manipulation. It's just what I like to call it. It's nothing fancy. A lot of you guys do this already. Cuff your pants, cuff your shirts, and it's going to drastically change the look of that garment. You could crop pants with a pair of scissors. I did that with these Carhartt pants. And there's a little distressing hanging off that's pretty cool to me. And here's a weird thing I like doing. I like to collect pins. Pins from gift shops, from museum shops, from the airport. I like to pin these items onto my bags to give the bag a little bit more detail, a little extra flair. And it's the same thing with safety pins that are attached to clothing tags whenever you get a new item or something like that. And I saw this from a brand called Maybe Tomorrow, so it's nothing original. You can pick up bigger safety pins online and add them to your beanies or hats. I also saw my boy Frugal burn one of his hats. So I just did the same thing with this trucker hat that I got from the Sears Tower in Chicago. Same with my Carhartt hats before and after is subtle but it's tasteful just think of this like higher end car brands like bugatti and bentley whenever they use wood grain finishes in their interiors every car that they sell is technically unique because every wood finish has a unique grain structure every interior looks slightly different and you can do the same try it out get creative with it if you're really good at sewing you can create your own pieces like i said the theme is have fun with it. And those are my tips for summer. If you found any of this helpful, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Fly with Johnny Ty. And until then, stay fly. Deuces.